Why don't you name it now? Well, because I'm a little bit on the spot. <laughs> I can name it like the SBL, like the BBL, Strawberry Basil Lemon. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Wow, pregnant people partying. That baby, I'm sure, is going to come out and be like a fun personality. Like us. Yeah, maybe that's what our mothers did. I know that's what my mom did. Kim was out there. Not Lorraine, I'm sure. Lorraine was at home reading parenting books, <laughs> figuring out how to make all this as perfect as it came out. My parents met blacked out at a club, so that's what <laughs> happened to me. <laughs> Hot boys and hot girls. Guess what? We're back and better than ever. You missed us. We know it's been so long. And we're about to get even better because we're about to get some alcohol pumping through our veins, which, as we know, we really makes best. us more tolerable <laughs> for, the, for the audience. Mm -hmm. So you're welcome in advance. And if you were wondering what you should be doing, subscribing. Mm -hmm. we're Besides watching... It. And liking the video, you also need to subscribe. It's mandatory. Probably the most crucial, important part. It is. And now, I know it's, like, really random that we have to say that in every video because all of our dedicated fans are like, who wouldn't <laughs> be subscribed? We are subscribed. But you know what? There are 8 billion people in the world. I think there are 8 billion by now. I remember when we hit 7 <laughs> billion. There's at least 7 billion. I think there are around 8 billion now. And we don't have 8 billion subscribers. So... Clearly, there's room for improvement. Always room for improvement. Mm -hmm. So, Matt, what are we making? Well, when life gives you lemons, you know what they say. Make a strawberry basil lemonade concoction and throw some vodka in it. <laughs> Isn't that how the saying goes? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, I thought so. So, quite literally, the name of my drink. I guess I should have thought of something a little bit yeah. more sophisticated. This is not like a real drink that you would find like in a cocktail book. But I just, one day it was like throwing together from the refrigerator that I happened to have. And I was like, oh, some lemonade. Oh, let me muddle some strawberries. Oh, let me make some basil simple syrup. And before I knew it, I had a delicious drink. So spiked SBL. Okay. And now if any of you are walking a journey of sobriety, you can just not include the vodka and it's a delicious yeah it's a refreshing little drink refreshing night. summer drink we on the other hand are not walking the sobriety road also if you're pregnant and you want to join people and you know when they're partying when i was bartending there were lots of pregnant women really there. yeah there are always pregnant women there and they always ask can you make me a mocktail oh so this, this is, this is a, a great a, mocktail yeah great mocktail yeah so matt how do we make this delicious sbl well, as I said, the name kind of really is a spoiler alert. It really gives away what the ingredients are. So, strawberry lemonade. The first time I made it, I um, just used regular lemonade and muddled some strawberries in it. But since then, I've elevated my technique a bit, and I throw a dash of strawberry lemonade as well. So, I mix both the regular lemonade and strawberry lemonade. Um, you need strawberries for muddling basil, a lemon for garnish, some club soda, obviously some top shelf vodka. Vlad will not cut it for this cocktail. Mm -hmm. um, we're really getting down to the wire here. Luckily we have a handle in the mm -hmm. fridge, but we're just going to, you know, finish it, off. finish it off while we're here. And then the most important part of our SBL is the basil simple syrup. So, as avid fans, I know that you all saw the... You already have it made. Yeah, they already <laughs> made it. In the same, time... Yes. Yeah, we're releasing the, the Simple Start video on the same day. So, literally, in the three seconds <laughs> that they finished watching that video... They were clamoring to make it. They, they made it. The they kitchen. happened to have everything in, the, in, the, um, in their pantry. And now, they're, now you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Okay? Basically, if not, though... We're going to link the video below or above. I still didn't figure out which way it goes. I don't remember. I black out too often. Um, so this is just simple syrup with some basil steeped in it. And that gives the, the drink its really delicious basil flavor. 
we can go ahead and get started. It seems like Melissa's really yeah, was clamoring. Really She's like, like she cannot waste another Honestly, second. Honestly, I used to practice flair bartending stuff, and I think it would be really exciting in the future if I could practice some fun things for our videos. So guys, that will be coming. I will teach you how to do some stuff. Oh my god. Well, I can't do anything now. I'm too scared I'm going to drop it. Yeah, so don't do it now. I'm too scared you're going to get it on my white satin shirt. Okay. <laughs> so, we're going to start out with First of all, I have to remember yeah. how many um, how many ounces of each item I use because I don't really measure. I just kind of look at it in the glass. So I have to like do some math in my head of like what's an appropriate measurement. So first, I'm going to chop up our strawberries, and you really don't need to muddle strawberries in the drink if you use more of the strawberry lemonade. But I personally prefer the flavor of the fresh strawberries more than like a overpowering flavor of the strawberry lemonade. Plus some... there's like a remnants too from like fresh ingredients that sometimes... Oh yeah, we love a remnant. Yeah. Okay. So. so now that we've chopped up our strawberries, I'm going to pour our vodka in first and do our muddling. So I'm actually making three because we're such generous celebrities. We feed and drink with our um, camera crew. So I'm going to use two ounces of vodka for each portion. I think we have enough. Well, if we don't, thank God we have that handle handy. Handy handle. I think we'll make it work. I definitely think we... Oh, yep. We had quite literally just enough. Now, if that's not fate, I don't know what is. Yeah. And honestly, there's like one more sip left, so... You're disgusting. Mm, so refreshing. Ew. So I'm going to muddle a few basil leaves and some of our strawberries in here. It looks like I went overboard with the amount of strawberries <laughs> I cut, but that's okay. So, if you're not familiar with muddling, first of all, I think I'm using the wrong end of the tool, but that's okay. They both work well enough. I guess Melissa's going to get some ice for me, which was very proactive of her. I love a free thinker. Um... Now that we've muddled to get all that flavor, and like I said, the muddling kind of is, is optional because the strawberries, you're gonna use strawberry lemonade, so you're gonna have that strawberry flavor. And for the basil, you're gonna have the basil simple syrup. So this is really just to get an even fresher vibe. vibe. Oh my God, <laughs> twins. So now that we're done muddling, I'm going to Quite honestly, so I do really like Simply Lemonade. This is not my preferred brand of strawberry lemonade. That was all I could find at the moment. Um, Tropicana had like strawberry peach. Like, no girl, we're already having enough ingredients. We don't need to throw a peach into the mix. That's like team too much. So I'm, I use more of the lemonade when I'm um, more regular lemonade than strawberry lemonade. Are you going to do, like, two and then a one ounce of strawberry for each? Yes. Okay. And it looks like we might have overestimated the amount that I could fit in the yeah, thing good. here. Um, we can, I can give it, we can make it work. Go ahead. We'll make it work. So, I'm going to use, ah, good thing this is, like, a rough estimate of the number of ingredients because I'm kind of spilling it. So, that was two pours. I'm going to use twice as much regular lemonade as strawberry lemonade. So there's three. Oh, you did, oh. Ah, told you, it's a little cramped. I thought cramped. You two ounces. Mm. So that was six ounces total, so I'm doing two ounces per glass, per serving. Nuh uh. Are you sure? Did you count four? Yeah. Oh, well, we did four. 
I lost your track. Your one brain cell really My one was... brain cell, like, <laughs> flew out the window. You. It really... That's why I was like, wait, what's happening? I'm... So, my synapses are not firing on all cylinders today. Okay, so apparently we did four. It's all right. So that's, I mean, now that's awkward because that's eight ounces. So the eight divided by three is like 2.67 ounces per And then glass. the other side's a one ounce if you want to do. God, you're so intelligent. But I'm going to use two of these since apparently oh. I used four. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, I'm really making a bit of a mess. It appears as though I might have been dipping into the sauce already, which I guess my one drop of vodka really went straight to my head. And now, the most important part is the basil simple syrup. I'm going to use one ounce per serving. So I'll start with the two ounce. I'll get my third ounce over here. Looks as though we should have said first, <laughs> but I was feeling generous. I got it. Okay. okay. All right. So if you have too much liquid in your shaker, instead of using the shaker top, you just need a bigger, like a beer glass, to just kind of divide it up. So. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a quick shake. As I'm still getting a little out. Oops. All part of the fun. So you want to fill your glass up like three quarters of the way. And the last thing you're going to do, which you would never shake, is add the club soda. And um, it's perfect. And I love, see? Guys, we have some remnants of our fresh ingredients. We have a little bit of basil, some strawberry in there. We almost had an explosion is what we almost had <laughs> with the club soda. So this is actually seltzer water, but you know what? It'll do. It'll do. It'll do. It's what we just happen to have on set. So I'm going to fill it up the remaining way with the seltzer, and that really gives it just a fresh vibe. Like, a like fizz. don't you love a little fizz in your drink? Because I know I do, and if you don't, you're deranged. Okay. So now we're just going to add some garnish and then we'll let you know how it tastes. Obviously, we do the most here, so we just did a little lemon wheel with a sprig of basil through the, the, center. the center of the lemon, and I must say, it looks like I've outdone myself yet again. What else is new? Cheers. Mmm. Oh. Refreshing. So refreshing. Wonderful. Your fave has never seen basil or strawberry in the same place together. It smells uncultured to me. Yeah. What a terrible way to live. Maybe introduce your fave to our lifestyle because I'm sure your fave could get used to this. Okay. Your fave didn't even know simple syrup was in cocktails. I mean, that's pretty dire. It's We're in dire circumstances. <laughs> Once you introduce your fave to our lifestyle, make sure that your fave does subscribe to our channel as well. Thanks. Real high girl shit. <laughs>